Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sweet Art Crafts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make these holographic slash color changing charms. I know a lot of people have been asking me how I make these, so I finally decided to make a video about it. First I'm going to start mixing my resin and then setting it aside for about 5 minutes. I like to do this because I want to make sure that I can get rid of as many bubbles as I can. So once the bubbles have risen to the top after 5 minutes, I take my blow torch and pop them. So now I'm going to start filling my molds with resin. I only fill them about 3 quarters of the way because I want to make sure that I have enough space for the backings which will be shown later on in the video. So now I'm taking a toothpick to get rid of any debris as well as popping any bubbles and bringing some to the top so that I can use my blowtorch to pop them. The reason why I try to get the first layer of resin super clear is because I like the way that it looks with the holographic effect when there's no bubbles or any debris and I'm just a perfectionist. So the way that I get the holographic effect is by using holographic vinyl. I mainly use vinyl from Cricut or from Tech Wrap Craft on Amazon. So here I have a few scraps of vinyl as well as two charms that didn't work out that I'll be using for tracing as well as a pair of scissors and a sharpie pen. So now I'm going to take one of the old scraps of vinyl as well as the old resin charm and the sharpie pen and I'm going to start tracing around it. You want to make sure you get this part as perfect as you possibly can because if you don't it can get a little bit janky which I'll explain later on in the video. So now I'm going to take my scissors and start cutting around the tracing. You want to get this cut as close as possible because like I've said before, if you don't, it can kind of get a little bit janky. <laughs> And this is what they look like once they've all been cut. Now that I have let the resin harden up for about three and a half hours and the top is mostly dry and a little bit tacky, I'm going to peel the backing of the vinyl and I'm going to place it into the mold and I'm going to use a popsicle stick to really push it into the mold so that it is on top of the resin. So this is why I talked about making sure you trace the old charms as closely as possible as well as cutting them as perfect as possible because sometimes I've had issues where it doesn't fit into the mold because I would go super fast and it would just get all janky and messed up. So that's why I recommend taking your time and making sure that you get it as close to it as possible.
So now I'm going to get started on the backings of the charms. So I'm just placing my pigment colors into the three cups of resin and then I'm going to pour them into the molds. So I waited about 24 hours before I decided to demold the charms and this is how they looked after demolding them. And for the Pikachu ones, if you want that glossy effect that you see in the beginning of my video, you're going to want to dome them with resin, which if you guys want, I can do a video showing you how I dome my pieces. So just leave a comment down below if you guys want me to and yeah. So before ending this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I sell silicone molds for resin. So if you've been wanting to get into resin for a while now, I have a variety of molds available on my website, which I will link down below. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and share this video with your friends. See you guys next time.